there are people who go and have Prez Beyond, and uh, the differences between perhaps somebody who has conventional LASIK for short-sightedness or long-sightedness is the immediate outcome. So uh, I understand there's some kind of adaptation Absolutely, period. Yeah. How long does that last and what does that feel like? Okay, so when we correct the distance vision in younger patients, they come into us the next day and they say, this is amazing. It is a real wow factor. We have to be very careful with Preds Beyond patients to, to make sure they understand that this is a, this is a different treatment and that although if, if they were wearing distance glasses, so if they were short-sighted their whole life and now had added presbyopia on top, they will notice that their distance vision will be outstanding the next day and they'll be very pleased with that. But the getting used to the transition between distances and getting used to the reading and feeling comfortable reading and moving between different distances so that it feels seamless your brain needs to adapt mm. to using the new information that's been given through your eyes. And this adaptation, we call it neural adaptation, can take anywhere between one week and it can take up to six months. Okay. Now six months is certainly on, on the extreme side. Uh, most patients, it's a couple of weeks to a month. Okay, okay. And so how does that feel to the patient in terms of, you know, what are, they, what are they going through on a regular daily basis when they're going through that adaptation? So, uh, s symptoms of the adaptation typically are quite mild. Mm -hmm. It's not, that they don't say they can't see. Okay. But what they'll find is that okay, they might find occasionally they, they struggle to see the computer screen or their eyes might feel a little bit tired later on in the day. Um, and it's typically that, that, that intermediate and working with computers Mm -hmm. um, or they may say that when they look up from the computer screen to the distance, it takes a few seconds to see someone's face. Right. Very, very common to be told that. And, you know, if it's something that the patients are very, very symptomatic about, what we do is we give them a, a temporary pair of glasses, which don't fully correct the prescription, but they just reduce the difference between the two eyes temporarily mm -hmm. so that they can get used to a small amount of blending of the vision. And then when you take the vision away, they take the glasses away, they can then adapt further to the, to the larger blend uh, difference between mm -hmm. the eyes. So there's all sorts of techniques we have to, uh, to, to help the patients through this adaptation period of between a couple of weeks and a couple of months. Is there anybody who doesn't adapt? It's very, very rare. And we always check people beforehand by simulating a difference between the two eyes right. and, for che and by checking for something called cross blur which is where if you have a big difference between the two eyes, the eyes uh, come in and out of focus and there's blurring both at the distance and, and close up. But in terms of the actual procedure, does it take any, is, it, is there any difference between a conventional LASIK procedure and having presbyond? Um, yeah, there, there is a, very much a difference between in the adaptation period for yeah. the vision. So uh, the adapt, after traditional LASIK where you correct your distance vision, it's instantaneous, okay. the adaptation. I mean, you, you know, within 12, 24 hours, people are just great vision. Yeah. Uh, the procedure itself is the same amount of oh, time? Oh, the procedures are identical. Okay. The procedure is absolutely identical. Okay. Uh, but it's this adaptation time. Now, yeah. the, the, the adaptation after uh, Presby on LASIK can take anywhere between uh, a few weeks to a few months. And certainly the longest uh, period we, we've seen is a period of six, seven months of adaptation. If Patients after six, seven months are still struggling with uh, moving between distances. It's entirely possible to fine tune it by reducing the difference between the two eyes and then it clicks in. Right. And it's quite spectacular when it clicks in. Patients all of a sudden one day tell you it just started working. Like that. It, it just starts working. The brain gets it. Yeah. It's, it's incredible. Yeah. Okay. If you'd like to know more about vision correction surgery, then book a free initial appointment today and I will personally answer your questions.